An influx of Colombian migrants in Jamestown, New York, is leaving many in the area wonder why they chose Western New York to settle and how they got there. Justin Gold with our news partner, WNY News Now, has more from those helping with resettlement. President of the Hispanic Community Council of Chautauqua County, Max Martin, tells us a volunteer with his group was surprised when they heard someone with a Colombian accent at our local top. From that point on, the help started. She immediately said, what you guys are doing here, we crossed the border, we're in Jamestown, and that is the reason I'm involved. Because again, as you know, I help all the Hispanic, not just Hispanic, but my concentration is Latino community. He says there are around 14 children, 15 families, and 10 single adults that have migrated from Columbia to Jamestown. However, according to a phone call Martin received from New York's Port Authority Wednesday, more are headed this way. Which I help some of them get connected. I help a family of four through an Amish friend of mine. They had a house here that uses very shortly, maybe once or twice a week. He said, hey, you can use my house. So I have a family of four living in his house with the Amish, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, and he provided help with food and, and clothing. So if the Amish guy can do that, why not the rest of the community? The idea to come to Jamestown specifically stems from word of mouth at a detention camp along the Mexico-U.S. border. Currently, there's enough food and supplies to support these migrants. Housing, however, is limited. We got plenty of empty buildings in Jamestown that we can utilize some spaces, at least, to get them together. Martin urges people with extra space in their homes to allow families in until parents can get their working papers and find a job. After thoroughly vetting these migrants, Martin believes the adults all want to work. Some even left high-paying careers in their country to come to America. The children are already registered in our public schools. If I was me, and I have a family of living people living in one room, would you, that's a need? Of course, it's a diet. Justin Gould, WNY News Now.